Welcome to Life Cycle Design and Management. In the field of industrial ecology, we strive for a sustainable life cycle design or SLCD. Now, what does SLCD mean? SLCD is all about designing products holistically with improved sustainability and less environmental impacts throughout its life cycle. It is to be highlighted that SLCD is not eco-design. SLCD seeks to balance economic and environmental factors going beyond eco-design, which primarily focuses on minimizing environmental problems. So, what are the benefits of implementing SLCD? Tools such as Life Cycle Assessment, which is LCA, helps to evaluate environmental and social burdens throughout a product's life cycle stages. Implementation of SLCD helps in minimizing the environmental burden, such as climate change and aquatic toxicity through waste prevention. By maximizing biodegradability of the waste, applying restorative material cycles, designing a product for reuse, and recycling may help in protecting the environment from changing drastically. It also helps us to achieve sustainable development without recourse to first mitigating impacts and subsequently redesigning the consultative products to prevent future incidents. The legislative bodies are increasingly aiming for higher rates of material recovery and Recycling for industry developers to ensure they do not violate the environment aggressively in producing a product. Regulation is an important driver of SLCD as compliance is necessary for a company's survival through proactive actions and appropriate strategies. Implementation of SLCD helps in increasing the company's economy gradually and cover both short and long term profitability. Next, what are the limitations in the implementation of SLCD? One of the limitations is the cost. Sustainable LCD may be expensive because it typically takes a lot of time and money to gather essential life cycle data and also because there is a shortage of appropriate knowledge. Lack of knowledge is also a limitation in implementation since sustainable LCD or even industrial ecology in general is still considered a new research field Lack of knowledge and expertise in SLCD is to be expected, especially in Malaysia, a developing country, compared to Europe, for example, such as Spain, UK, Belgium, etc. Also, supply chain is hard to be entirely green since not all companies implement SLCD, which may require a company's product to include some amount of raw materials which are not entirely sustainable or have some environmental impacts. Lastly, there is the limitation of companies lacking ability to balance between business decisions and SLCD methodology. Now, where can we see examples of sustainable life cycle design in Malaysia? One of the examples of SLCD is Hospital Jasin Green Building, Malacca. Green building, also known as sustainable building, primarily having energy efficient usage, water conserving, the use of recyclable materials, non toxic, and other features that contribute to the environmental, social, and economic. One of the project's success green building for the hospital Jasin is rainwater harvesting system. Rainwater harvesting is a system that collecting, storing, and purifying the natural soft and pure rainfall that fall upon the roof. It is accumulation and deposition of rainwater for reuse on site rather than allowing it to run off. Sustainable life cycle design that applied in this hospital consists of two types of rainwater harvesting tank, which is 7,500 liters and 750 liters.
eco-labeling product is the other example of LCD application. My hijau program is one of the eco-labeling which supports sustainability. My hijau mark is Malaysian official green recognition scheme endorsed by the government of Malaysia, bringing together certified products and services that meet local and international environmental standard under one single mark. These are the Green Rebel Certification in Malaysia products which include Water Efficient Product Labeling Scheme, Malaysian Timber Certification Scheme, Serum Eco Labeling Scheme, Serum Product Carbon Footprint Certification Scheme, and Energy Efficiency Rating and Labeling Scheme. The first product is Nippon Odorless Air Care. It complies with Green Label Certification ISO Type 1, Certificate with Serum Eco Labeling Scheme, which claims to conserve the use of natural resources, low VOC, and restricted toxic and hazardous substance. Next product is Panasonic Electric Split Air Conditioner. It complies with other Type 1 like Voluntary Sustainable Scheme, certified with Energy Efficiency Rating and Labeling Scheme, which claim to conserve the use of energy.